You've got to be strong, uh, physically fit, mentally tough. Uh, I can do anything through God who strengthens me. The champ is here! I can relate it to football very well because, like, he can strengthen me for the game, and then I can we could win, you know? There's three things you need to be happy in life. You need something you love, something to do, and something you believe in. Play football and sports. God, of course. Uh, my girlfriend back home. Knowing that God died for me and he loves me so much that like, I just want to run for him and glorify him through my sport and just give it all I got because he gave me the talent I have and I possess it because he created me and like, created me in his image. So like, be such a good runner and like, and just knowing I can use my platform to share my faith and talk about Christ to everyone. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. God really came through football because Pastor Rod really introduced it to me through football games and everything. So I really like that, and I'm so thankful for him. Coach had me come over uh, before the season had started, and I got to share my first message with the guys. I had something to do um, as to whether God uh, cares whether we win or not. God's not nearly as concerned about the score as the effort and the attitude that we put forward. And when our effort and attitude is right and honoring unto God, it not only helps us win football games, but it helps us translate the lessons we learn on the football field into life. I know for me, like when I ran cross country and track in college, especially, um, I was hurt a lot. And it was really frustrating because I did really well throughout high school and then I get to college where I'm like, yes, I'm with the big leagues now. Like I'm with excellent competition and I wasn't always able to compete with them. And it just put my faith more in him to help get me through that and just to know that no matter if I could run or not, you know, I was still pushing through, you know, he was still helping me get through everything. And, you know, once I was back and able to run again, you know, he helped me get to where I needed to be. I think um, God gives us all like, gifts and um, he's given me the ability to be able to run, to build for a while. And uh, I just love that I'm able to go out there every day and to be able to run for him, to make him proud. Um, for me, being on a sports team helped me grow in my faith. Um, it helped me surround my people, like not many people on our team, like, you know, believe in God, but the few who do, um, being surrounded by them and having that community helps you grow in your own faith. And for me, I wasn't a Christian coming into college, but through my four years, I was able to grow in my faith, and I can now call myself a Christian. I believe that the team that believes in God will eventually succeed more and uh, be more successful, but not necessarily win the game. What God expects of us as men of God is not to, to just kind of hang back and, and watch the action happen, just like, just like David didn't wait for the giant Goliath to approach him. David grabbed his his weapons, his sling, and his stones, and he ran to the fray. And he compared uh, that story to playing football and like how David ran to uh, the fight with Goliath. He told us not to be afraid no matter how big they are because they were a pretty big team we were playing against, and he told us never to back down and to run to the fray. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. The people that play high school sports all around the country, including Ridgewood, high school football is all they have. There, is no, there, there are no um, older leagues to play football with pads on. There might be some flag football leagues out there, but once you finish high school, for the majority of people that play, their playing days are over. And so somehow we've got to translate those messages uh, through life. And I think Evan's getting it, and he has an opportunity to take it to 
to higher levels? Um, I have four official offers so far from Toledo, Akron, West Virginia. I'm just really excited for this summer when I get to those camps and see if any other schools uh, offer me. So kind of like the West Virginia offer, it came out of nowhere. Like I've never spoke to the coach at all, and then I talked to him one time, and then he offered me. So I'm just keeping my options open. I thought that Akron was my first offer. I went there for a junior day, and I was just, like, touring the facilities and, like, their indoor facilities and everything. And then the head coach, Rob Anello, wanted to talk to me. So I was like, I was like, all right, maybe it's going to happen. So I was getting pretty excited. And so we go into his office, and he just sits me down and starts telling me, like, the same thing like what the Toledo coach said, that I'm a great player and that uh, I would fit in perfect with his uh, team and everything. So he then he just offered me a full scholarship. We were together. Uh, we were visiting Akron, and we were called into the head coach's office, and we both kind of looked at each other and had a feeling that maybe that's what was going to happen. And um, when we went in and sat down and... He told Evan, you know, that they've been watching his films and um, that they wanted to offer him a full scholarship and that they thought he would be beneficial to their program. And um, it was just very exciting. I had to hold back tears and just so proud. Like, It's just... It's amazing, and I'm just so thankful. I would have never thought that I, me of all people, coming from a small school and everything, would be in this position. I'm not sure if he knew who to give the credit to at first. And then when he started going to church and, you know, listening to the things that, the ways that God can change your life, um, then I think he knew where to give the credit to. He's given me all these amazing opportunities, so I believe that he obviously sees something in me to be, like, a confident person, you know. I just think he has everything, like, besides his size and his character, um, his personality. He has good grades and his skill, you know, playing football. I think he's, um, he's blessed, so uh, he deserves it. Anybody deserves it, it's him. Um, I really like being a role model. I want to be the type of person that little kids look up to and want to be like. So I've just never really compared myself with anyone. I don't see, like, why you would compare yourself to someone when you could be better, you know? Like, I always believe that you could always do better than what you are doing. Well, well in, the, in, uh, in sports, you're asked to be a leader. You're asked to be, as you mentioned, kind of a public figure to some degree. And... Um, and so you, you've, you've got the opportunity to be a, uh, an instrument for others and be a, uh, a model to some degree what, on, on what your faith means in your life. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Football means a lot to me and I never knew what it could bring to the table whenever I didn't play or anything. So I was just, I'm really thankful for the guys that talked me into playing. He does act older. He acts more mature. He acts more like their dad than somebody their own age. Like he, he's always, you know, thinking of consequences and telling them what kind of consequences could happen. I really pushed that I believe that God is allowing all these amazing things to happen be a part of. I didn't really uh, see the point in going out and uh, getting drunk every uh, on the weekends and uh, so really uh, Catholic Campus Ministry provided me with like a support group that uh, I have to uh, help me sort of fight that temptation and uh, stay strong in my faith. Sure yeah being in the being on the soccer team there's you, there's certainly more challenges than maybe your typical student gets because you have some of the uh, some of the kind of the camaraderie and the fraternity that comes with uh, with the team. So and sometimes that comes with more temptations, whether that's more parties, whether it's more girls, whether it's more drinking, uh, whether it's just pressure to do certain things because you're in a, a small tight community and most of those guys um, were knew what was going on in your life, and so there was more pressure to uh, 
uh, keep up with the status quo. My first year of football, uh, he came in, the first time ever he came in and spoke to us, and like all the guys were kind of like, all right, there's a pastor in here. We They didn't really know how to take it. And so that's like the first time I met him, and I didn't know really how to take it or anything, so I just kind of like had an open mind about it. And ever since then, he's just been coming back before every home game and sometimes away games, and he'd speak to us before the game and give us like a pep talk and relate it to like a story in the Bible. And I really liked that. So that really um, allowed me to uh, connect with him more. And then I decided to start going to his church. They're trying to make the application to their life because they understand that that although football is just a season, life goes on. And so if we get the if we get the message and we're able to apply it and win football games on, on earth, that's a great thing. But it's even better if we know that we've really got the message and we're not going to quit in life. We're not going to quit in our relationships. We're not going to quit in our jobs. We're not going to, to quit when the pressure is on. If we learn that on the football field, uh, hopefully it benefits us in everything we do. He... Um, allows everything to happen in your lives and he can change everything in a second and he could take it away from you. Evan is definitely one of the guys that I could see it in his eyes that he was he was interested in what I had to say. Um, there was something something in there like a, a hunger that uh, he he wanted to be the best he could be on the football field and, and probably there's something more there that, that Evan wanted than just the football field. And, and that's really what my heart is. I mean, Evan, Evan is probably the, the example of, of what we're striving toward. It makes me feel so blessed. I am just so thankful, and I thank God every night for just all of the great things he's allowing me to cherish and everything in my life. So everything is, I'm experiencing is because of him, and I'm so thankful. Let it be said of me, my soul self strength, my soul self hope is Christ alone.